in, come on in. What's up? What's good? What's popping? What's cracking? What's percolating? What is really good in the hood? It is your man Theo Butler, and welcome to another episode of. I ain't saying. I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah. Put that thing on up. I'm a little too close. I, I gotta back this thing on up. I'm, I'm a little too close. I'm a little too close. I'm a little too close. Yeah, man. It's good to see y'all this morning. I hope everything is good with you. I hope you had a great Saturday. Uh, shout out to the Madison Cowboys, um, state single A champions, state of Florida. Yeah, shout out to y'all. I see y'all boys. Congratulations, y'all. Uh, shout out to the Hawthorne Hill. You know, um, they played. You know what I'm saying? They they didn't they didn't win, but you know, hey, they played the game. So shout out to y'all, man. Great game last night. Uh, but y'all see the title of the video? Uh, first of all. Before we begin, like, share, subscribe. If you like, leave a comment. If you don't like, leave a constructive comment. <laughs> you 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 might leave. You just might straight criticize this one. So I don't know. I ain't saying what you're saying. But before we begin, I want I want to show y'all something because I think people look past this, and it's not the people that's rocking with me. That's you know that's rocking with me because. Y'all see it. Y'all kind of like some of y'all that kind of hinted at it a little bit. Y'all, but y'all know, because I think I think with AZ said something to me a while ago, speaking some life into me. It was either AZ or D Steasel. But you do see the title, right? You see the title. You see this. You see the title. You see the title. And you see this. Now watch this. Watch this. Hold on. Let me take this off. Because I know I have my hair up sometimes. <laughs> but uh, if I if I put my hair down, that that don't kind of remind you of somebody. This should remind you of somebody. My hairstyle should surely kind of remind you of somebody. Why did I point that out? Mind you, I do know that these are fictional characters, but with, hold on, wait, hold on. So y'all, y'all see this, y'all see this, y'all saw that, right? Hold on, wait. And you see that, right? You see, you see that? You see that? It's just some conversations I just don't be wanting to have. <laughs> what do you mean, Theo? Well, if you walk into, here we go, somebody's room who's a huge Pittsburgh Steelers fan, and you walk into their, I'm not going to say, I'm going to say their cave because, you know, a Steelers fan could be anybody. You walk into their cave, and their cave is literally decked out in Pittsburgh Steeler merchandise, the sofa, the throw blanket, the refrigerator, the, the car outside, the TV, the, the, the picture frames, the jerseys, the action figures, all of that's Pittsburgh Steeler related. You're not going to question them about Pittsburgh Steeler stuff. You're going to be like, oh, damn, you, you're a huge Pittsburgh Steeler fan. you you know your stuff when it comes to Pittsburgh. Same thing. <laughs> and yes, today's episode is brought to you by the people at Folgers and the fine folks over there, International Delight. Today's flavor is Cinnabon. Mm -mm -mm. You know, I love to have me some Folgers in my cup. You should get you some too. I'm being petty. <laughs> like I said, you see the title. Yes, we know it's a fictional character. <laughs> we know it's a fictional character. Now, the reason why I'm doing the video today, first of all, I still got a lot of content to put out because Shout out my man, Jonte. 
um, Jamel Jackson. We went to go check out the class single A uh, state uh, football, high school state football championship game last night. So that kind of pushed behind the video production. But this is what we get. This is this is what we get. So you have someone who off the rip, we know if you listen to him, and I, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna put his name out there, but it just sheer transparency, difference of opinion. Be open to ed being educated. Don't be a smart ass. Acknowledge what your heart really is. So we can deal with it. With the truth. It's hard to have an honest conversation. When one party is already. Dealing from a lie. And the lie doesn't have to be a lie that somebody told them. It could be a lot that they're telling themselves, i.e. they're being disingenuous with themselves. So this person started off by being disingenuous with themselves. They said, what's the best way to explain his becoming Black Panther? Now, what they were talking about was Winston Duke, his character, and Baku becoming Black Panther when people suggested it and everything like that. He didn't have a problem with it. And I stated to him, asking, suggesting a man of color to be okay with converting his religion. There's some westernized historical context here. Hmm. And I put the thinking emoji. And he replied, you do know these are fictional characters, don't you? We're talking about a world where people can train rhinos and fight intergalactic bad guys, but converting to another religion is going too far. Ha, you gave me a good laugh. My response was, just like you know the movies are based on those fictional characters, so let's not say, suggest, insinuate, tolerate, consider, treat this fictional character any differently than we have those others, in the, those others being the other fictional characters, in the 53 years I've been living. Do you even really know the character? Now, I already knew he did. It's a prevailing problem amongst the non-recasters. You really don't know the characters at all and opposed to educating yourselves on the characters because someone told you you don't know the characters. Like a child, you got stubborn and you said, F it, I'm not moving. You shortchanging yourself and the character. You're not even trying to educate yourself. You don't want to be educated because you're afraid you might change your mind about how you feel about the character. You're fine where you're at. It's been way too many of y'all that have alluded to that. When you get pulled to the ring, when you come in the ring, and we peel away all them layers that you've been talking about, why you don't want the character recast, it boiled down to the fact you don't know the character. Say that. So we can start having an honest conversation. Say that. Say you don't care about the comic book characters. Say that so we can have an honest conversation. But what y'all will say is, like this person said, you do like realize these are fictional characters. Yes. He said, his response to me was, I only watch the movies. I don't study any of these characters. I don't read the comics. So how do you have an opinion? An opinion has to be based on some knowledge of what you're speaking of. How do you have an opinion and you don't know what you're speaking of? That's my problem with way too many of you non-recasters. You have an opinion, but you do not know what you're speaking about. And when somebody that does, you would rather try and demean that person, belittle that person, than go educate yourself. How dare you? How dare you?
because I'm looking at you and I'm saying to myself, how could I come into your home and have that same attitude about something you know about? And how would you respond to it? Regardless, how would you feel if I came into your home and had such a mentality towards religion? Politics. Social justice issues. Hell, football philosophy. Imagine me coming into your home, having an opinion about your team's high school football team. And I don't know a damn thing about your team's high school football team, let alone anything about football at all. That's what quite a few of you have done. Quite a few of you. So I responded to him. I said, cool beans. There's no harm in that. There's no harm in him not reading comic books. There's no harm in him not knowing the characters. There is harm in him speaking as though he knows the characters. Just like there's harm in those that know the characters misspeaking about those characters. Quite a few of you YouTubers ain't going to drop your name. You know who you are. You're being irresponsible. I ain't saying. I'm just saying. So I said, cool beans. There's no harm in that. That said, don't insult the intelligence of those that do by insinuating we think these characters are real. We know they're fictional. We do. We know that. We care about their stories no different than a Harry Potter fan cares about Harry Potter stories. See, see how we do that? See, we not going to F with James Bond. We not going to F with Harry Potter. Hell, watch this. We ain't even going to F with Dr. Seuss. <laughs> Horton Hills <or> what? <laughs> The Greek stole what? <laughs> I said, R-E-S-P-E-C-T is all we're asking for for this fictional character. And really, at the end of the day, that is exactly what it boiled down to. Fans of T'Challa are only asking for the same respect that they then gave every other character. Don't give us that BS about somebody that passed away and everything like that because they ain't gave you but one way. I didn't gave you a plethora of ways. And watch this. Y'all have bashed me for saying recast the character but won't bash them for only having one way of honoring the character. You won't even acknowledge the ways that I didn't say it to honor the actor. The plethora of ways. Like, those of y'all that want to come over here and bash me on the YouTube channel, you never said, damn, bro, you got some great ideas on how to honor Chad with Bozeman. You know why? Because you only want to hear what you want to hear. And that is the problem. In regards to T'Challa, you only want to hear what you want to hear. But in regards to every other fictional character, oh, you down for whatever. I'm down for whatever. You down for whatever. I'm down. For nothing nice is down for whatever. Boy, hey, all, old school RB. <laughs> I'm going to go. I don't want this to go too long and everything. We almost at the 15 minute mark. Sensual, sensual seductions. Starting in January, first Friday from 11 p.m. to 12 a.m. Or from 10 p.m. to 11 p.m. Anyway, I want to get my lady, get the female audience going. Ladies, this this going to be for y'all. I ain't saying, I'm just saying. Peace. <laughs>